How to create a website using HubSpot website CMS Hub tutorial for beginners 2023. In this video, we're going to be discussing about HubSpot and how you can use this amazing software, this amazing platform, and it's going to be really simple and it's going to be really easy. Please do make sure to watch this video till the end and listen to all the information that I have to provide you with. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the editorial concepts and the editorial bits. Now to come to, you know, your basic um, HubSpot CMS hub, basically what you're going to do is you're going to come here and you're going to write www.websiteworldmedia.com slash HubSpot. Okay. You're just going to write that. Just write this and click on enter. Okay. Now, once you write that and click on enter, what's going to happen is that you're going to be redirected to this page, this specific sign up page where they're going to show you the HubSpot products as so. So as you can see, get started with HubSpot. Now, again, you're going to go ahead and write www.websiteworldmedia.com slash HubSpot. And if you don't want to just go ahead and write all of that, you could just simply go down in the description. And at the top of the description, I've given the same link. You can just click on it and be redirected pretty simply, pretty easily. So once you've done that and once you're over here, obviously you can see all these different things about HubSpot, you know, looking for a specific product, the CRM, like HubSpot is basically a CRM platform. You know, HubSpot is a CRM platform with all the software integrations and resources. You basically need to connect marketing, sales, customer service, and website management. So as I say, looking for a specific product, CRM platform includes five core products, you know, First of all, you have the marketing hub and you have marketing softwares to help you attract the right audience, convert more visitors into customers and run complete inbound marketing campaigns at scale. Now, obviously, this system has a variety of stuff. The marketing system has forms, email marketing, ad management, landing pages that you can obviously use for your email marketing. And you have sales hub, you know, sales CRM software to help sales teams close more deals, deepen relationships and manage their pipeline more effectively. This could be, you know, size down to contact management, deal pipeline, quotes, meeting scheduling, much more Then you have services hub where customer service software that helps you conduct seamless onboarding, enable flexible customer support and deepen customer relationships at scale. Then you have CMS hub where website management software that's flexible for marketers, powerful for you know developers and gives you customers a personalized secure experience now obviously we're going to be using the cms hub because like we don't really need the rest of the tools right now so let's go ahead and get started because the cms hub obviously gives you all the privileges for having a website so build a free website on your own custom domain okay so obviously to get along with that to get started with that what you're gonna do is we're gonna come here okay now you don't necessarily need to follow this step i'm using a temp mail for my own purposes you can go ahead and use your gmail or microsoft or whatever you like i'm just using a temp mail because i want to again you don't really necessarily need to follow this step now once you've added the uh, temp mail or any type of email that you want to you're gonna wait for a verification so here we go five four one uh four nine eight so five four one four nine eight there we go and we're going to click on next then you're going to go ahead and start creating your password so i'm going to go ahead and do that real quick there we go create a strong nice password click on next that's going to start asking your name and everything i'm going to enter my name what industry are you in then we're obviously going to go ahead and add our proper industry that we work in okay now let's say i'm going to go ahead and create a random website i'm going to go with the uh, marketing for now marketing and advertising or just go with other to be honest then what's your job role okay i'm gonna call myself the president okay on next what is your company's name i'm gonna go with go flipa how many people actually work at your company okay it could be one it could be two to five six to ten eleven to twenty five twenty six to fifty fifty one to two hundred thousand ten thousand or more okay so you can go with any one of these I'm going to go with 51 to 200. What is your company's website? I'm going to keep this blank or just, you know, keep a random website, to be honest. And once you have entered that, click on next. Where would you like your data to be hosted? Now, this is important because obviously you're going to have to set this option according to wherever your servers rise up from. So if your servers are in the U.S., then I recommend doing it in the U.S. But if your servers are outside of the U.S., I recommend doing it in EU. 
Now, once you do EU, you're going to click on create account. And there you go. Now, once you do that, as you can see, it starts preparing your account. Let's personalize your experience. Which of these sounds most like you? You know, this will help us give you the best start. I have never used a CRM before. I need a HubSpot, but I have used a CRM. I know my way around HubSpot. I'm going to go with that. I've never used a CRM. Then it starts logging you in. OK, so let's wait for it to do that. And once it does that, here we are. So here we are in the HubSpot hub. This is your basic dashboard, basically, for HubSpot. And in this basic dashboard, you can see a lot of stuff goes on. You know, you have the marketing hub, sales hub, service hub, operations hub, and then the CMS hub. Now, there's also a lot of other things. So, for example, you have uh, contacts, conversations, marketing, sales, service, automation. And let's say like even these settings have their own settings. So in marketing, you have ads, emails, landing pages, website, social, SEO, campaigns, design tools, forms, and, you know, much more. So obviously, once you're, you know, done with all of this, let's go ahead and actually sign up with our CMS hub. So to do that, basically what we're going to do, first of all, is obviously discuss the pricing and features. So I'm going to go here and pricing and feature. And once you're here, you're going to make sure to come to the CMS hub, which is down here in their products. And once you've gone to the CMS hub, obviously here you can see tons and tons of different things, tons and tons of different pricings that they provide you. So. Firstly, you know, you have the starter CRM suite marketing hub starter includes a thousand marketing contacts. OK, and you have the sales hub starter includes two paid users, service hub starter, which again includes two paid users, CMS hub starter and operations hub starter. They give you all these users and they start off at this much. And you come down, okay, you have the starter plan, essential CMS tools to build and secure your very own website starts at $23 per month. And, uh, you know, you can either pay monthly or pay up front. That totally depends on you. $25 per month, build monthly. And, you know, it's it's a recurring plan. It works wonders. And then you can obviously see the features, which I'm going to discuss in a second. Then you have the professional plan, which is a basic comprehensive CMS software to personalize and scale your website starts at $400 per month. And, uh, again you could start a free trial if you want to and then finally there's the enterprise plan which is their most powerful cms software for advanced control and flexibility starts at twelve hundred dollars so yearly it's billed at fourteen thousand four hundred dollars and uh, you can obviously compare them if you want to just uh, click on this compare button and obviously it'll start comparing but yeah as you come down here you can see all their uh, features in more depth and more detail all of them have url mappings all have required fields you know call to action personalized tokens multiple currencies now seo analytics presets and all these things that start under those obviously those are things that are not available in the starter plan so you can obviously go ahead and compare the pricings in great depth if you want to because obviously it would make sense why you would want to you know have a very in-depth and in-detail look at the whole pricing system because yeah when you know it's a website that you're creating and you're going to want to make sure that everything is on point so yeah once we've discussed about that let's go on and uh, you know you could just go ahead and buy this right now buy this straight away to start creating your website now once you you know you've uh, bought their cms starter and everything we're gonna head back to the uh, main website and once you're over here as you can see it gives you a bit tasks to get you started so for example to go to the website here you are you're going to go to marketing you're going to come to website and in the website as you can see you have website pages blog etc now obviously you can either get straight into that or you can come to this you know optimization section where they actually tell you like it's a user guide basically but right now i'm just going to go ahead head over to website pages now once you head over to website pages here you can see give more information to get full access to hubspot etc etc build a website that grows your business with cms hub create a website that looks and feels like your brand without actually writing the code and uh, obviously you can start building it and you also have more tools like advanced menus and you can create either a website page if you want to or a landing page pretty uh, basic and simplistic stuff now you can switch through landing pages and website pages as well over here if you want to so you know pretty fun and simple and uh, then moving on what's the difference between a website page and a landing page basically a landing page is your basic standalone web page. Okay, it's it's a web page that's gonna stand alone throughout the website. 
like it's not going to be on a website it's just going to be a separate link that you can embed onto a website if you want to but it's not going to be a part of that website so again it's a standalone web page that uh, you know you can use to market your stuff you can use it to tell people about your things and all that so that's basically a landing page and obviously to create a landing page that's a whole separate video so if you want me to explain that please let me know down in the comments below and i'll do it for you but yeah we're gonna come here on website pages and we're gonna go ahead and start setting up and as it says we're gonna do it without code so now let's start setting it up select a theme for your site okay a theme is a collection of page templates modules and styles that make it easy to create a cohesive website choose one that fits your brand and get started no coding required now you can go ahead and browse themes okay so once you start browsing themes obviously it's going to give you a variety of different themes to uh, you know choose from to browse from so you know now obviously go with whatever theme works best for you whatever theme you know looks best to you personally and uh like let first of all let's go with a color breakdown so you have a themes marketplace that you can check from or you can you know set this theme that they've already chosen for you as an active theme now i'm gonna go ahead and view themes in my marketplace and once you come here you know you have shop themes and once you go into shop themes uh you can see all these things so you know there's focus sp rocket rocket free accelerator thrifty academia quest infinity spark interactive community environmental gargano all these different types of themes now the most popular one is focus and uh, a lot of people use this so let's go ahead and view its details and you know if it's something that we can get behind so yeah let's go ahead and install it a lot of people use it so i'm gonna go ahead and install it it's totally for free so i don't see why i shouldn't install it and once i install it as you can see it starts downloading it theme installed what do you want to do next set as my active theme so yeah, I'm going to set it as my active theme and edit the theme settings right now. I'm not just going to get straight into it. So here it says, welcome to the theme editor. Okay, whether you're new to HubSpot CMS or a tenured user, we're thrilled to welcome you to the new theme editing experience. To become familiar with the editor's new organization, click start or browse the menu items on the left. Okay, so you could go ahead and start or, you know, just see the different things that they've left for you so first of all there's the primary header okay from the primary header you can navigate back to the editor undo and redo view version history access the knowledge base and retake this tour and you have secondary header you know you can switch between pages and screen sizes you can easily undo or redo actions from the right corner and obviously there's settings to default that you can do for yourselves but i'm just going to come on welcome and i'm going to click on start now once we're done with that and we finished everything as you can see this is your basic theme editor and uh, here you can start editing your theme of course now i just wanted to show you how the theme editor actually looks like like once we've discussed about that i'm not actually going to get into the very complex editorial stuff i'm going to go head back to my uh, theme customization and once we're over here i'm going to go and customize okay and in customizing theme Obviously, there's a lot of things that we're going to need to want to look at. Okay, so there's stuff like global colors, header colors, body colors, footer colors, you know, a lot of coloring that goes on that you're going to want to check for yourself. You have a general view of things, typography, buttons, forms, spacings, settings, etc. So first of all, let's head over to global colors and, uh, you know, actually see how our page looks like. So you can go on preview. And uh, by the way, if some at some times it may give you an error like this, in that case, what you can do is just go ahead and, uh, you know, reset the theme because like, let's hope you don't get this error when you've actually done a lot of stuff for your page. So reset your theme add uh, you know in that stuff in your theme and uh, once you've done that yeah it'd be like you should be good to go so yeah you know pretty simple stuff so again just go ahead and make your theme and once you do that here you have explore the drag and drop editor get a hands-on intro to building website pages in this absolute interactive demo now this is a demo that they're going to give you for their drag and drop and uh, you could obviously skip it if you want to and uh once you do that as you can see you have a lot of things over here so these are your basic drag and drop content so first of all you have add and in add you can basically let's say i'm going to pick this up and you're going to drag and drop or you can you know just drop images if you want to like let's say i'm going to drop an image over here and once you have an image you can uh replace it with it to, with any type of other image that you want okay so let's say i'm going to add the picture of a dog over here you know great stuff then you can start adding text for yourself you know rich text over here 
and as you can see it starts giving the rich text for this puppy and you can obviously edit it so adorable puppy picture uh, so a subhead about cute how cute they are this is a sentence and obviously you can mess around with things you can make certain lines of text bold if you want to so as you can see we have made that bold certain lines underline them you have certain lines which you can italicize if you want to uh, so so you as you can see pretty uh, easy and simple stuff isn't it now moving on you can also pick layouts for your website which is also pretty simple so obviously you can just go ahead and publish it but i'm just going to go ahead and exit the demo because that was just your basic demo now once you've understood the basic concept of the demo you you can just go ahead and start publishing for yourself okay now once you click on start publishing first of all you have theme templates okay now this is the theme templates for the focus template that we picked up for our whole page so what uh, like what appearance can we use for our page okay now that solely depends on you that depends on whatever type of look you're going with whatever type of look is going to work best for you going to work best with you basically so yeah that's all i can say in this retrospect is um you know just add whatever is going to be best for you so let's say theme template to start off with yeah let's just go with this one okay home template i'm going to select the template and once we select the template you know, welcome to the page editor. Same thing. You're going to go and start. So first of all, you have the primary header that we discussed under file. You can create a new language variant, access your page settings and create a new page for yourself. Under edit, you can undo, redo and access the theme editor. Under view, access your version history and page details and under help, find quick access to this tour, the knowledge base and a place to give feedback. Then you have secondary header, you know, switch between language variations, pages and screen sizes. You can access settings and undo or redo actions from the right corner. You have sidebar, you know, from the sidebar, you can add, enhance and organize the content of your page. And again, sidebar add, the add icon allows you to browse and add modules, select sections or layouts to your page. To add, simply drag and drop the content to your page. And you have optimize, okay, and optimize, you'll find all the tools you need to boost your search rankings. And you have test, you know, in test, you can increase your page performance by running on a slash B or adaptive tests. And you have page contents okay in page contents you get a bird's eye view of the contents and structures of your page then finally you have site navigator in site navigator you will be able to manage and navigate through your pages in your domain so obviously we're going to do next click on finish and obviously this is where all the publishing suite brings us and uh, the, the first and foremost thing is they ask you to remove the hubspot logo but for that obviously you're going to have to have the premium features and obviously here's add now Again, you know, whatever the, the things we read, like the way they told us, first of all, there's the adding modules. Okay. And in the add module section, you can add different modules for yourself and for your page. Pretty simple to do. So you could say pretty, pretty easy output and outcome as well. So just go ahead and uh, add it however it's easy for you however you know simple it can be for you and once you've added that yeah you should be good to go you know add different themes which it's going to load up for you uh, now, right now the website is pretty unresponsive so i'm not going to be able to give you an example with it but it's going to be right here it's going to be really easy to drag and drop now once you've done the whole dragging and dropping obviously there's more things to uncover and discover over there you have the common modules that you can add and then you have all you know theme modules are going to be related to your theme they're going to be more you know in touch with your theme they're going to have more vibe that could be closer to your theme common theme is something that you know everyone uses and it's going to be one of the most popular themes out there and then there's all themes which is just going to be all the themes then you have sections okay and in sections obviously you have two things you have saved and theme now again same with theme uh theme sections are going to be related to your theme okay they're going to be related to whatever sections are going to be offered by your theme and then you have saved which is going to be the sections that you have saved personally and then finally there's layouts there's going to be tons and tons of different layouts for your page again pretty simple then there's contents okay there's page contents and this is where all the fun starts because page contents actually have a lot of things so first of all you have the main section for your page where you have this section and in this section as you can see you can mess around with different visibility factors of the page and again if you open this content you know you have the hero slider what is a slider slider is you know you could say a number of images together that you can slide left right you know that's pretty much about it that's what a slider is and then you have uh, you know even more stuff have for yourself more stuff you can do 
for your page is um, have a little, you know, these columns and images and analyzing your marketing requirements, columns and just much more stuff. And, you know, you can like expand these different things to see what you could say, what uh, source of knowledge or what source of information lies in what space. And, uh, you know, it's just really simple and it's really easy to have a general outlook of things when you're in this, uh, you know, very detailed aspect of the editorial settings. Now, moving on, you also have optimize, which basically optimizes your page. So, you know, you have different things like crawling and indexing. Search engines can display the page in res search results. This is basically optimizing your SEO. If you indicate you don't want search engines to index a page, it won't appear in search results. Then you have mobile friendliness. You know, the page has a properly configured viewport meta tag without a properly configured viewport. Your mobile visitors may have to pinch and zoom how to read the page content. And you have title. You know, page has a title. Title appears in search results and helps search engines know what your page is about. Title is 70 characters or less. A title that's less than 70 characters is less likely to get cut off in search results. Your page title is 13 characters. Then you have title and domain name, which are pretty unique. You know, repeating the domain name in your title makes this content look less trustworthy to search engines and visitors. Okay, now moving on, what uh, you can do is uh, you have more images, you know, add image alt texts. All texts help search engines and uh, much more to be visually impaired, which users can understand uh, what your image is about. Now, moving on, you have meta descriptions. You know, meta description is 155 characters or less. OK, and uh, it can be cut off for yourself if you want to. Then you have page, which has a proper meta description. Your meta description appears in under the page title and search results. It gives search engines and readers information about what your page is about. Meta description and title are unique. Your meta descriptions will appear under the title and search results. No need to repeat it. And uh, then you finally have, you know, your basic headers for your page. So, you know, a single h1 tag makes it easier for your search engines and readers to understand your content this h1 tag thing is basically you know uh, html and css which we don't really need to discuss about so once you've discussed about you know all those things in the publishing section let's go head on back okay and uh, once you're over here obviously there's the whole publishing thing then you can create a blog for yourself creating a blog is optional that's not something that you necessarily need to do. You can create a blog, totally optional. Start with your blog's title and URL information, then build your first post. Once you're done with the basics, you can import on any existing blog. And then once all of that is done, in the end, we need to top the cake off with a cherry and finally connect our custom domain. You know, by default, your website will be given a HubSpot domain, but you can also connect it to any domain that you own, you know, Free security certificate SSL is included. So to connect a domain, you can basically choose any domain provider that you want. You know, there's tons of them. Uh, GoDaddy, Hostinger, Bluehost. But uh, you can connect them from your own or you can connect them from here. So let's get started. Connect your domain to HubSpot now so you can publish your next creation as soon as it's ready. So, you know, go ahead and connect the domain right away if you want to. Pretty simple stuff. What's the domain? Enter the domain for your primary site, you know, uh, at a HubSpot.com domain. And if you don't have a domain, you can just choose a domain from GoDaddy or someplace like that. Verify it, set it all up, and you're going to be good to go. So, yeah. Yeah, basically, yeah, I'd say that's pretty much about it when it comes to discussing your page and talking about all the in-depth stuff that your page actually brings you. So, yeah, that's pretty much essentially it. Now, if you enjoyed watching this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, like anything related to, you know, CRMs or making websites or anything e-commerce related, you can let me know down in the comments below and I will make more videos related just like this one for you. And then moving further on, if I left anything out or if you have any issue with any aspect of this video, please let me know that as well and I'll fix it for you right away. And uh, one last time, if I were to tell you how you're going to come and access the site, all you're going to do again, I'm just going to say this again. I said this in the start. All you're going to do is you're going to go in a new tab URL www.websiteworldmedia.com slash hub. 
spot okay just gonna write that and once you write that you're gonna enter it and you're gonna get straight into hubspot okay that's how simple it is and again if you don't want to write this whole url and go through you know the whole writing stuff you can just go in the description and at the top of the description you're gonna find this url just click on it and you're gonna come straight to this website so yeah that's uh, basically about it for this video uh, again if you enjoyed watching drop down a like subscribe to the channel share this video around with anyone in need because that truly helps my channel out a lot and yeah that's basically about it so thank you for watching this video till the end that was all from me i hope you all keep having a great day and i will be seeing all of you next time goodbye